Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with some more decked out to uh, the tournament, right? The roguelike deck building, uh, uh, you know, uh, tournament in Minecraft here with all of these other content creators. If you guys didn't see episode one of the tournament, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, for those of you guys that might have missed it, we've done several, we did four runs, right? Because we have 20 total runs to do here, and so we used four of our frozen shards to, um, you know, do episode one and uh, we pretty much all we did is we gained two extra of this ember seeker card that way we have four total to give us just a bunch of ember uh, you can also see in the top right it tells you the max amount of cards of this in your deck you'd be allowed to have which is five um, we're kind of just doing a risky bisky uh, kind of money build here um, you know trying to uh, get a bunch of ember so hopefully we'll be able to afford a lot of different things uh, we uh, two uh, of our wins right with the relics we have two of this axe of the screaming void and so we're going to see, we're going to see, we're going to stay out, we're going to do two runs here, uh, most likely on easy again, trying to just grind out more ember, and then maybe we upgrade to medium. Uh, medium adds a second floor to the world. I've never actually, even in all of my practice, successfully made it out of level two with an artifact, but it does give you the potential to get a lot more money. And even if we take some losses, uh, then it might end up be worth it. So we're entering in here for the first time. We're going to safely store our frozen shards. We are going to, um, you know, I think, I think that will, uh, I think it works even if you just right click it. And so yeah, right now we're gonna stay on easy mode uh, because uh, you know we could we could use a little bit more grinding, right? Of the uh, you know the ember shards and everything like that um, to hopefully get some more uh, awesome uh, decks and stuff like that. So or cards for our deck. So we're gonna jump in here into our now fifth run of twenty. Uh, obviously, we're doing four runs each episode. Um, and uh, so now we're allowed also to buy the victory tones. Um, so instead of buying cards, we could choose to buy victory tones. I'm assuming most likely I'll probably want to wait until um, episode maybe three to buy those, right? Maybe have a little bit more time of, um, you know, a little bit more time of grinding some stuff out. And it looks like the relic is... Okay, it's going to be somewhere back there because there's no way it's right here. There's no way it's going to be right there. And so I'm going to stealth, honestly. Hmm. So that sound meant we've already made too much noise, apparently. Uh, and it looks like it's playing our cards, but it's not saying that it's playing our cards anymore. Uh, which is interesting. Um, looks like it added some frost ember to the map. I'm glad the map's working at least. It does seem to be that the announcer broke, though. But that's okay. We don't need an announcer to tell us what's happening. I mean, we probably do, to be honest. But it looks like it's added more frost embers as well. Um, but yeah, not, not sure why it's not really telling us our cards are being played. But that's okay. I'm also, I'm also just actually not hearing any, oh, oh, there it is. What? Are you right there? Oh God. We want to stay away from that guy. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. This is not good. This is not good. There's two ravagers. Amongst our mitts. Oh! We might get cornered here. Okay, we took the ember. Oh my god, there's two two people on my tail. Oh my god, we gotta run. Run, run, run. Oh my god, why is that blocked? That's blocked! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! oh my god! Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that was not a good start. Oh, that was not a good start. We got screwed. Okay. I mean, that's 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 how the game goes. It's it's we we chose to randomly uh select them or we chose to randomly uh, you know, place them and uh, we definitely got screwed by the placement on there, but that's fine. That's fine. 
Uh, we just got to try again here. <laughs> Not a great start, uh, to be honest. But that's fine. That's fine. It'll it'll work out. Don't even worry about it because we're gonna we're gonna win all of the points and do all of the awesome things here. Uh, okay, so we we have our we have our things back. Was not a great run five, but that's okay. We just gotta wait for the uh, dungeon to reset here. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool because obviously this was all made from Hermitcraft, and so all of the uh, the people here um, had their own like little runes and stuff like that. Here's a cafe and stuff like that. Really, really cool stuff. There's a oh, there was a sign that said pancakes, and I wanted the pancakes, but uh, I didn't get the pancakes. Oh, oh, pancakes are in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that. But okay. Uh, <laughs> dungeon has been reset here. Um, so we're going to uh, tick warp a bunch to hopefully reset the dungeon. And then we're going to stop the tick warp. And we will put now our second shard of this episode in. And hopefully have some better luck than last time. We shall see. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Okay. So we're gonna drop those in. We're gonna sleep in the bed. And we're gonna place our deck. Still staying on easy. Cause like I said, easy still hard. I, I do, if we get a win or two, I would like to upgrade to medium to show you guys floor two. But uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Well, let's try again here, second run. Look at all them bats. Look at all them bats. There's a creeper down there. Okay, then. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, I'm trying to be a lot quieter. But also, if you take too long... Right? All of the pathways and everything will get blocked off. That's one of the reasons we died last time. Okay, we're gonna get our berry here. Oh, almost went in the fire. So that's why I'm trying- see, so that sound... ...meant... ...that a pathway has already been blocked. Is there a Ravager back there? Oh! Something spawned. So see- all of those Ember Seekers. See, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe we added too many Ember Seekers to our deck. Right? And, um, that kind of caused us to not have as many of the defensive cards. Okay, haven't seen a Ravager yet. I also have not seen any. Oh. I think that means something spawned. Ah! That's the stumble. Those get added every like 30 seconds. Okay. So it looks like it's this way. Oh, wait. Is it right here? <gasps> okay, we already found the relic. It's not worth a lot though. Which kind of makes me... We really... If we want to do good at all, we need to find some resources. This is where we died previously. Rest in peace. We really need to find some treasure or some ember if we want any chance of actually doing well in this tournament. Because six, six ember shards is not going to help us. Uh, really at all. Oh, okay. So that, that pass already been blocked. There's more Ember Seekers, we're just, we need to find all of the Ember that apparently, that has allegedly dropped. But we've only seen one Ravager, which means they're all probably on this side of the map. That's the sound of more stuff spawning near me. I 
I don't see any, though. Where are all my resources? We're getting better at that. What was... Oh! This is not good. This is certified not good. Okay, okay. Let's see. Are there any resources we may be able to find? Okay, we found a, a single gold. For all the ember seekers that have been played, we sure can't find no ember here. And the heartbeat's kind of racing. He's right over there. I'm hearing all of these sounds. Okay, here's two ember. Oh, I don't like... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up there, but I can't go up there. You need a double jump card to go up there. Okay, we tricked him. We made it in here. Let's see if we can find any treasure or anything that's small. I saw some ember over there. What was that? What is that? Are those skeletons? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh! And that means that we made too much noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there's our second loss. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe, maybe last episode we lo we lost our first two runs. Uh, and then we won our, t our, our second two runs. So maybe we'll actually uh, win these next two. That's what that means. That is terrifying. The evokers don't mess around. That was so scary. And then it started flooding everything as well. That was so scary. That was so freaking scary. See, so now I feel like I'm starting because I because I made all of my cards Ember Seeker in the first episode, we're not having as many of the defense things or whatever. And that is that is scary. Is ready for so we still have two more runs for this episode. We're going to tick warp a bunch. Then we're going to stop the tick warp. You could swap out some treasure cards for your ember cards. Just take out all my treasure cards. True, true. I could do that. But also, like, so we if we had treasure, because I think if people were correct and said that you can keep them. Oh, man, that's a lot of crowns, actually. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We don't need any gold. That's a good idea. Gold. Gold is no longer my best friend. So treasure hunter here. We're taking treasure hunter out of our deck. We're going to go put it in this temporary thing here. Because I just want ember. That's my strat. Because I don't think I'm going to do very good. So my, my strat is to just get a bunch of ember and then buy points. I mean, that's, I guess, how you play the game here. But, okay. Oh. So hopefully that helps. Treasure is only useful for medium plus runs to make keys spawn. That's my free hint for you. Yeah, true. True. Because, yeah, once you're on level two, you have to have treasure to spawn to go into level two. So if we turn it on medium, we'll probably need those back. But for right now, grinding ember, we don't really need them right now. So this is our third of four runs here. I'm going to store that. Now reset. We're going to put our deck box. And hopefully we'll do better this run. We won't, uh, you know, have a bunch of scary stuff spawn and kill us. So, okay. Okay. It's, it's such a balancing act. Like, you don't want to take too long. 
We also don't want to make too much noise. Also, I should have referenced this in the first episode, but uh, this whole game is obviously heavily inspired from a board game called Clank. <laughs> you guys haven't seen or played that game. Very fun. Okay. We're dropping in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stealth. Actually, I'll walk. Okay, so our artifact's somewhere over there. There's no way it's here at the spawn. So it sounds like it sounds like some Okay, do I just all oh, okay, because my heartbeat's already starting up. And Ember apparently spawned next to me. Hmm. I don't like hearing all the mobs in the walls. There's more. Just need to actually find these dang embers that are spawning. Can't find any of them. Would you be interested in playing Clink? Through tabletop sim for a stream segment. Yeah, that could be fun. I don't know why. I have a very weird love-hate relationship with tabletop simulator. I don't know why. I think I need to get over it. Like anytime there's like like you know the, a digital version of a you know board game. Good for those. Um, okay, so that had already closed. But yeah, no, definitely potentially. Clank's a very fun game. So I don't know. Probably need to slow my heartbeat down. I have not found any ember. It's kind of a problem. Ah! Kind of a problem. Just a little bit of a problem. There's a treasure over there. There's a lot of really good ports to TTS. I know, I know, I just... They still are nothing compared to like actual like video game versions of games. So like Dominion, I was playing Dominion, the video game, uh, based on the card game. Uh, the other day, my friend Anna, and the whole time she's like, we could be doing all it, all it on tabletop for all the... Um, For all of the, oh lord, expansions, but it just doesn't play as nice. We got a, oh wow, a key? So a key is how you would normally get, oh my god, what? Not two Ravagers again. Not two Ravagers. What? What is this? Oh my lord. Hopefully that means there's not too many of them here. Come on, I need an, I need. Oh. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go in here. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. Okay, I need to slow down. Okay, also, I have been told that if you use the key, it'll automatically give you extra... It'll automatically get you extra ember. The thing is, is we just, this is a good run if we could actually find the artifact. No way it's here, is it? They are not making this easy on me.
Hopefully the heartbeat will go down. Um, problem is there's just a million ravagers over there. Heartbeat's still going up. Just need to find this relic and I need to get out. So are they just going to be waiting for me? <sighs> Fuck me. Dude, he's right where I need to go. Actually, I think it's underground. Dude, oh my god, my heartbeat though. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Dude, this is insane. Because my heart beat. But I don't want to die! Oh my gosh, dude. We're never making it back. We're never making... This ain't a win and run. I'm trying. I'm trying to be quiet. I'm trying to be quiet. My heartbeat. Will, will the heartbeat go down? Oh my god. Dude, what am I supposed to do? I don't think heartbeat goes down. Oh my god. I have to run. If it kills me, it kills me. Okay. Now we're being quiet. Please don't be a ravager down here. Please let me live. Where are you, artifact? Okay, right here. Oh my god, Pearl? Th okay, this is worth so much. We just need to get out. We just need to get out. The problem is, we've been here for a very long time. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to be quiet. So that part's blocked off. A lot of this is going to be blocked off. Because we've been in here for so long. Luckily, this wasn't blocked off. Oh, there was a Ravager over here, wasn't there? Or did we lead him in there? No! Are you kidding me? It didn't matter! It didn't matter! No! 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 No!
Oh, that was going to be worth so much. Oh, no, y'all. Well, we got one more run for this episode. Oh, dude, that would have been worth so much. I mean, so do I just need to... I don't know. I guess I'll just crouch permanently. I suppose I'll just crouch permanently. Because that's how we've died the last two times. Oh, that one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt. Mmm. Yeah, I, I will say, I think... I think... Uh, we're playing with a setting that randomizes the positions of the Ravagers. Um, and I definitely, I guess I suppose that keeps things interesting, but it also the kind of makes things really hard. For its next the Vexes come when you've been in the dungeon X amount of time due to the hazard. Oh, so me crouching that wouldn't help? I'm so confused. Um, okay. Well, here we go. We do a bunch of time warps. Reset the dungeon. Single stop time warp. Okay. Final run. Final run, everybody. For this episode. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We, we, we need to redeem ourselves. Crouching would input your clank. Which mostly influences how the dungeon changes. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm, I think I've got myself confused here. One sec. We'll, we'll see. We'll see once we get in the map here. You are right. You are right. You are right. Wait, clank. So hazard. I thought hazards was the amount of time. Yeah, hazards are the amount of. I see this thing, so I just took two. And clang, making noise. What? What? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? That's a rare jump scare? Jesus Christ! Oh. Yeah, so, okay, so I thought Clank. I thought Clank is what summons the Vexes. And I thought Hazards, the amount of time you were in, and I thought Hazards would just mess up the dungeon. For some reason, I thought Clank is what summoned the Hazards. Oh, my God. This game is just messing with me. So, Relic is somewhere over there. And... Ugh, our cards aren't in the deck. Our cards aren't in the deck. The game didn't work. The, the mod broke. Okay, so let's try to uh, let's try to uh, get this final run to. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I didn't I did I didn't mean we need to take some someone's. I think we're supposed to be at twelve. There we go. Twelve is the number that we should be at. I did not mean to put them all in there. <laughs> okay, so uh, it it the the, the map uh, it took my deck box, but that's okay. Uh, because we got a new one. We got a new one here. So this is our final run for this episode. Um. And we're going to hopefully do good. We have not gotten a single one run in this episode, win in this episode. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I just hope that the map works because the map has been very, very naughty. It jump scared us at the cost of breaking the entire map. So, is the Warden still gonna be here? No, Warden's not here. It's still wild to me that the decked out got into the roguelike community. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm not enjoying the troubleshooting, um, to be honest. I, I'm kinda used to roguelikes just working. <laughs> it does look like it's maybe working now, though. Because we allegedly have all of our cards. So hopefully we're good. We're going to try to be a gamer. Because we have sucked for this episode for the tournament. Cards are getting played. That's a good sign. Uh, 
Uh, and I'm just gonna stealth everywhere. Welcome to Minecraft. If it works first time, something's gone horribly wrong. Wait. Wait, why is... Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah, okay, so it's somewhere over there. Okay. It's like deep, deep in there. So all our Ember Seekers are getting played. We just have to hopefully find the Ember. And I'm stealthing everywhere, because last two runs we've died to those Vexes or whatever. Though I don't know, I don't know. We still haven't figured out if the Vexes spawn from too much hazard or too much clank. Because I was stealthing. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Got some treasure. Oh, a treasure and a key. Okay. Okay. So we're not on medium, so we're only here, but... I think that would give us some extra ember if we use the key. Okay. Is there going to be a Ravager up here? Okay. Oh my god. Stability. Okay. So we have hazard block. Okay. I'm assuming there's going to be a ravager down here. Yep. Come get me, ma'am. Dude, you're stuck on a freaking chair. You're stuck on a chair, dude. Just... Okay, well... I'm just gonna, like, take a couple steps here. I think it's up. Yeah, it's definitely up. Okay, I think it's up. Does the ember bar go up as you get closer to the ember? Uh, no. That is supposed to mean from being played from our cards. That means that ember's like getting ready to get summoned into the map. Episode two is titled for you, decked out, turn my vex love into vex hate because vexes are arguably my favorite mob, but they're the worst in this. Yeah, they are terrifying in this. Oh! Okay. It's all good. Dude, all... I wish I could get those. Where is it? Where's the artifact? Yeah, you need, you need, uh, uh, oh God. Sneak. You need a double jump card. Dude, get off my ass. Is it not here? Dude, where is this artifact? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Oh, it's over. Oh! 
Oh my god, Ravager right there. And I'm I'm not picking up anything. Oh my god, dead end there. All these keys, which is wonderful, except that we cannot go to where we need to. And you need the artifact. All these vexes. Oh my god. They're gonna spawn, dude. Oh my gosh. It's not gonna happen. Oh, is it? Is it going to summon a bunch of spooky shit now? Dude, where is this artifact? Dude, this would once again be so much... If I could actually make it out, but I just know that we're not going. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way. Oh. I have all of these keys and nothing to do with them. Because if you don't make it out with your artifact, you just lose. You lose everything. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Not like this. Oh. oh, vexes are clink based uh, as he popped up on a clink trigger. Oh my gosh. Well, there we have it. I guess we took four big fat L's here uh, for this uh, <laughs> for this run. Oh boy. Oh boy, dude. There are some spooky 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 things it's actually crazy i have done i did about four or five hours of practice before this deck builder uh and uh, none of it is uh is is uh making it seem like i uh, had any practice here <laughs> we have the same win loss record <laughs> oh man well we have three more episodes here so maybe we will uh maybe we'll do better i don't know <laughs> Definitely some spooky stuff like the jump scare thing and stuff like that. Absolutely insane. Uh, the warden, the vexes, uh, and uh, just a lot of spooky stuff. So uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed maybe uh, watching me suffer <laughs> and get scared. Uh, like always, if you want to see everyone else's runs and stuff like that, uh, make sure you click the link in the description down below. It's the same day this episode came out. Everybody else's uh, run uh, two came out. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully we can do better in the future. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Ring that bell like what the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when the next episode of our Decked Out 2 tournament uh, comes out. Uh, and if you guys are going to be grinding out uh, some Decked Out 2 on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.